Welcome to the Intel Agile X5 HPS Subsystem Overview eLearning. The Intel Agile X5 Field Programmable Gate Array product family extends the innovations of the Intel Agile X FPGA portfolio to mid-range FPGA applications. The Intel Agile X5 FPGAs and system on a chip serve a broad range of applications that require high performance, lower power consumption, small form factor, and lower logic densities. Let me first share with you some information about our portfolio or products and resources. The Intel FPGA portfolio supports this transformation, including discrete and integrated FPGAs that are expected to improve processing, efficiency, specificity, and connectivity. Intel FPGAs can provide a variety of workloads in network processing, as well as compute and storage acceleration. FPGAs are mass-produced standard product ICs, that can be reconfigured in the field to accelerate virtually any digital algorithm. They offer greater throughput, execution speed, and energy efficiency than CPUs on computationally intensive parts of algorithms. But with the ability to adapt quickly to changes in algorithms, data patterns, they can be reconfigured in the field to accelerate virtually any digital algorithm. They are available in five current families, Max, Cyclone, Aria, Stratix, and the newest family Agile X, all with of increasing capacity, performance, and feature sets. The course agenda is as follows. Introduction to Agile X5 FPJs, Introduction to the Hard Processor Subsystem, Microprocessor Unit, MPU, Power Management, HPSIO Pin Multiplexing, the Intel Agile X5 FPGA product family extends the innovations of the Intel Agile X FPGA portfolio to mid-range FPGA applications. The Intel Agile X5 FPGAs and system-on-chips serve a broad range of applications that require high performance, lower power consumption, smaller form factor, and lower logic densities. First enhanced DSDSP with a tensor block in the industry delivers high-efficiency artificial intelligence. AI and Digital Signal Processing DSP. Agile X5e series is optimized for power and size, ideal for intelligent applications at the edge and embedded markets. Agile X5d series is optimized for performance and power efficiency, ideal for various applications across multiple markets. This series is manufactured using Intel 7 technology and offers transceiver rate operations of 17 gigabits per second and 28 gigabits per second. The Intel Agile X5 product family delivers, on average, 50% higher fabric performance and up to 42% lower total power consumption compared to previous generation Intel FPGAs. To achieve this improvement, the product family leverages these key innovations and techniques advanced Intel 7 technology. Second generation Intel Hyperflex FPGA architecture. High level of system integration, power islands, power gating, and other power reduction techniques. These capabilities and advanced features make the Intel Agile X5 FPG a product family ideal for mid-range FPGA applications across the edge and core. The applications span across many segments, including wireless and wireline communications, video and broadcast equipment, industrial, test and measurement, medical electronics, data centers, and events. Additional to traditional ALM user registers, the Intel HyperFlex core architecture adds bypassable registers, called hyper-registers, distributed throughout the FPGA fabric, available on every interconnect routing segment and at the inputs of all functional blocks. In the second generation Intel HyperFlex core architecture, Intel optimized the number of registers to improve timing, closure, time, and fabric area utilization. The hyper-registers enable you to achieve core performance increases using key design techniques. If you implement these design techniques, the hyper-aware design tools automatically utilize the hyper-registers to achieve maximum core clock frequency. System-on-a-chip FPGA devices integrate both processor and FPGA architectures into a single device. Integrating the high-level management functionality of processors and the stringent real-time operations extreme data processing or interface functions of an FPGA into a single device forms an even more powerful embedded computing platform. Consequently, 
They provide higher integration, lower power, small board size, and higher bandwidth communication between the processor and FPGA. They also include a rich set of peripherals on chip memory and logic array and high-speed transceivers. The HPS has multi-core of dual-core ARM Cortex, a 76-core, and dual-core ARM Cortex, a 55-core processor units. CPU frequency, dual-core ARM Cortex, a 76, up to 1.8 GHz. Dual-core ARM Cortex, a 55, up to 1.5 GHz. Based on ARM V8.2A architecture, runs 64-bit and 32-bit ARM instructions, 16-bit and 32-bit thumb instructions, for 30% reduction in memory footprint. Superscalar, variable length, out-of-order pipeline, with dynamic branch prediction, improved ARM Neon Media Processing Engine, single precision and double precision, floating, point unit arm, core sight, debug, and trace technology. The Cortex-A53 core supports high-performance applications and provides the capability for secure processing and virtualization. Each CPU in the processor has the following features. Support for 32 and 64-bit instruction sets. An order pipeline with symmetric dual issue of most instructions. The hard processor subsystem differences are listed in the table. Accelerator coherency port, cache coherency unit, generic interrupt controller, system memory management unit, on chip RAM. The features are compared with Cyclone 5, Area 10, Stratix 10, and Agilex system on chips. The HPS supports one USB OTG controller, dual roll device, high speed 480 megabits per second, supports USB 1.1, integrated descriptor-based scatter, gather DMA, and configurable to USB OTG modes. The system manager in the hard processor system contains memory mapped control and status, registers, and logic to control system level functions, as well as other modules in the HPS. The system manager connects to the following modules in the HPS. Direct memory access controller, Ethernet Media Access Controllers, Error Checking, and Correction Controller, Microprocessor Unit System Complex. The HPS Scan Manager is supported only in Cyclone 5 and ARIA 5. The HPS I.O. pins are configured through a series of scan chains in the Cyclone 5 and ARIA 5 system on chips. In contrast, in the ARIA 10 onwards, the HPS I.O. pins are configured in the FPGA bitstream. There is no separate block to configure HPSIO. Intel Agilex 5 devices feature a robust error detection and correction circuitry that protects the configuration RAM programming bits and M20K user memories. Configuration via protocol using PCIe allows you to configure the Intel Agilex 5 FPGAs and system. This capability simplifies board layout and increases system integration. The embedded PCIe hard IP operates in autonomous mode before the FPGA is configured. Using this hard IP, you can power up and activate the PCIe bus within the 100 milliseconds time allowed by the PCIe specification. The Intel Agile X5 FPGAs and SOX also support partial reconfiguration across the PCIe bus. A SNOOP control unit maintains coherency between the CPUs and communicates with the system cache coherency unit. At a system level, the MP core interfaces to a generic interrupt controller, CCU, and system memory management unit. The secured digital multimedia card and CE ATA host controller is based on the Synopsys Designware mobile storage host controller. The cache coherency unit allows I.O. masters to maintain one-way coherency with the Cortex A53 MP core. It acts as an interconnect among the processor, FPGA, to SOC, MMU, multiport, front-end, subsystem, and peripheral masters, interfacing the system, interconnect, and supporting the weighted priority of memory accesses. The SMMU provides system-wide address translation for system bus masters. A two-stage translation supports memory virtualization. The module includes a single TCU that controls distributed translation buffer units. The HPS provides two USB 
2.0 high-speed OTG controllers from Synopsys Designware. The USB controller signals cannot be routed to the FPGA, like those of other peripherals. Instead, they are routed to the dedicated I.O. Each of the USB controllers offers the following features, complies with the following specifications. USB OTG Revision 1.3 USB OTG Revision 2.0 Embedded Host Supplement to the USB Revision 2.0 Specification MT-S is short for Mega Transfers, or Million Transfers Per Second and is a more accurate measurement for the effective data rate or speed. The NAND flash controller is based on the Cadence Design IP NAND flash memory controller and offers support up to two chip selects. DMA controller supports 32, 64, or 128 pages per block. Three Ethernet Macs supporting 10 megabits per second, 100 megabits per second, 1 gigabit per second, and 2.5 gigabits per second with integrated DMA and timing and synchronization support. The HPS to FPGA bridge allows HPS bus masters to access bus slaves in FPGA side. Configurable 32, 64, or 128-bit AMBA AXI data interface allows high bandwidth HPS master transactions to FPGA fabric. Supports up to 256 gigabytes of address space. Lightweight HPS to FPGA bridge supports up to 512 megabytes of address space, 256 bits, FPGA to HPS interface, external SDRAM and flash memory interfaces for HPS supports DDR4, DDR5, and LPDR5 up to 2133 megahertz with efficient power management and debug trace. The HPS supports both device and host controller modes. Both USB 3.1 and USB 2.0 interfaces must be configured as device or host. Mixing modes are not supported. The MPU consists of multi-core ARM 8.2 version A architecture, CPUs, dual-core ARM Cortex 76 processor, and dual-core ARM Cortex A55 processor. If you only need the A55 cores, you can tie a 76 cores to ground. The comparison between the CPU, maximum frequency, and the core revision of the previous families with respect to Agile X5 are listed in the table. We can achieve a maximum of 1.8 GHz with Agile X5 HPS. When compared to other families, Agile X5 YesOC has 2 MB shared L3 cache memory, which is a unique feature. The ECC controller operation and functionality is programmable through the ECC register slave interface. It also provides host access to memory initialization hardware used to clear the memory contents, including the ECC bits. The ECC controller generates interrupts upon occurrences of single and double bit errors, and the interrupt signals are connected to the system manager. Each dedicated I.O. has only one function and cannot be used for other purposes. The dedicated I.O.s can be used only by the HPS. The pins are not accessible to logic in the FPGA. The shared IOs can be used by either the HPS or the FPGA. These pins are used by high-speed peripherals, such as Ethernet Mac and USB. Slow-speed peripherals can be routed through the FPGA fabric and assigned to FPGA IO. Connecting HPS peripherals to the FPGA fabric can be a strategy to make optimal use of the I.O. pins of the I.O. pins available to the HPS. For example, you can route HPS peripherals through the FPGA. If your design requires more I.O.s than the HPS I.O. block provides, here is a list of useful resources. Please check out the details on the Intel Agile X5 family of devices at the links provided. There is an overview available online and then the detailed features and specs. Intel provides multiple avenues in which to learn about Intel FPGA products. There is the Intel FPGA YouTube channel, which contains five minutes quick videos, along with longer, more in-depth training videos. There is the Intel FPGA training website, where you can access e-learning courses made up of narrated slides presented in an interactive player, some courses with labs and demos. Lastly, you can also enroll in a live instructor-led course, 
presented either in person at an office, local to you, or virtually over the web. All instructor-led courses have hands-on labs exercises to practice the concepts you learn. If you need more assistance, Intel FPGA provides many self-help resources for you to access. For example, there are web pages called landing pages dedicated to specific FPGA technology-like and high-speed interfaces. You can also view and post questions to the community forum, which is monitored by skilled Intel FPGA applications engineers. The Intel FPGA training team is always looking to improve our material and welcome any feedback you may have. Please email FPGA training at intel.com with any of your thoughts or comments. This concludes the training. Thank you and have a good day.